Hello, this is Claude, and uh, today I'm going to do a quick video on the uh, Rocat or Rocket uh, Swarm software. Uh, as uh, some of you guys have seen in my videos, uh, I really like uh, the Rocket products, and um, you know I've got the Rocket uh, Rios MKFX keyboard right here. It's got the uh, RGB lighting. Uh, MX brown uh, cherry switches or cherry uh, MX brown switches love it uh, I also have the matching uh, Rocat XCD optical mouse uh, I have also a Rocat tie-in mouse and if you see if I do the shift the easy shift key if you look at the keyboard at the same time when you set it on the uh, mouse software and the swarm software uh, to use all the devices when you do shift, as you would say shift here, and then the keyboard as well lights up. And uh, you can see here. And the beauty of this is that you can combine function and use the shift key on the mouse and do the second function on the keyboard. And it works just great. Uh, I also have another uh, Rocat product here. I've got the uh, Rocat uh, Naval Edition um, mouse. It's uh, really good. It's smaller. It's just like the Kony Pure XTD. It's a little smaller and uh, optical also uh, sensor with the Pixar 3310. It's a great sensor for gaming. It's awesome. It's right, just the right size. So you see I've got a lot of Rocat devices. So um, the reason why I'm doing the video here today is the fact that I've been requested by a couple of users or, or, or subscribers to my channel to do a tutorial on the Swarm uh, software because Rocat build a great devices. Their software suck most of the time. Uh, it's amazing when it works because it's got offer usually more features than the Logitech, the Corsair, the Razer Synapse, and all these other. The G Skill, the new uh, uh, keyboard they've done. The software is, is buggy. And still, it, usually the software is pretty easier uh, on these other um, devices. But Rocat, their software usually offers more uh, potential, but it's, uh, sometimes it doesn't work. So uh, some users asked me to do a, a, a little uh, tutorial, and I'm doing that right now. Uh, and I'm going straight, not scripted, not nothing. So uh, when you open the soft, the, the Rocat software, first of all, let's go see where we can get the software itself. You get your device, you go into uh, rocat.org. Uh, this is where it takes me here. Uh, you're going to go into the support, and then after that, you're going to go into downloads. And uh, you're going to go into the category, also gaming uh, keyboard. Uh, it's good for all the keyboard like the ISQ, the uh, Rios MKFX, so anything that you swarm, that's where it is. Uh, you're going to use uh, item, so you use your keyboard here. You've got all the different keyboard that use that. I've got the MKFX, and then I've got Windows 10 64 bits, and you search, and then this is where it takes me to the Rocat Ro Swarm uh, software. Download the software, and that's uh, what it is. Once you install the software, and then your keyboard, your keyboard should be plugged in into your computer. Uh, this is what happens. This is where I need to I want to do the tutorial because very often you do all of this install the software And this is where nobody tells you that but very often this your keyboard which is here my uh, Raya SMKFX right here on top shows up right there Your keyboard should show it there very often when I did it the first time it didn't work My keyboard was not here and I was trying to do the settings. I was frustrated said that thing doesn't work Of course because it didn't recognize my keyboard, but I didn't know that so once you install it and you put the keyboard, it should recognize the keyboard right here. If it's not there, okay, the solution for me was to completely delete the software, the Swarm software. And I used a Revo uninstaller, a uh, free version, and it did uh, uninstall the software. And it also removes uh, any traces on the computer and the registry and all that good stuff. So and then you reinstall until it finds it. It, it took me, I think, two or three times. One of the things that you will see as well is that once you install that and it tells me that driver is this and 1.9 firmware 1.3 make sure that you update if it asks you when this is your key, your keyboard and it wants to install a keyboard always update it auto update the drivers and all of that and uh, at some point it's going to see it's going to see it's going to work now, i don't know how i've done it uh and but actually after you know screwing around with it long enough it finally saw it okay and this is the frustrating part cuz i don't know what i've done I installed on the new machine, uh, the software worked the first time. And on this one here, on my computer here, it took me forever. So anyway, so that's what it is. That's the Rios keyboard is here. Uh, let's go see the settings here. Uh, and they're right here. 
Uh, the different settings, the character repeat and all that. I don't play with that. Reset here. I'm going to go see first here in the little settings here of the software itself. I always put search for automatic update. Uh, show update notification in the in the bar here. Uh, when you go here, it's going to tell you that there's a new update available. And I always do the updates. It's great. And I uh, last checked it December 31st, 2016 as, the, as I'm doing this right now. As people are cooking upstairs, I mean, I'm doing the quick video here. All right, so this is what it is. Uh, all right, so the settings here. Uh, this deactivate keys, the left window, right window. I deactivate that so when you're in game and CSGO, which, which I play, you don't want to hit the, the, the Windows key and then pop up a menu and get out of your game. So I de deactivate it. Some uh, keyboards have the Windows key straight on the keyboard and you push on it and then to deactivate it. Uh, well, here it's in the software. Uh, timeout, uh, choose a function that star, uh, star, uh, starlit sky. It just basically pops in and out uh, after 15 minutes and you can just change that to what you want. Uh, profile switch is one of the things that I have here. Uh, when you change the, uh, the profile here, uh, it's going to, um, to tell you and I love to hear it. Uh, and I'm going to do that. I've got the switches, the thumb uh, uh, buttons here are, are set for that. Hopefully it's going to work. Well, I'm on four already. Profile three. Profile two. All right, I'm going to make sure I'm going to put my sound on. On the speakers on, in, in case the software doesn't pick it up. I'm going to go back to profile uh, three. Profile three. Profile four. Profile three. Profile four. All right, I'm back to profile four, my CSGO profile. Uh, so this is what it is and I love to do to have that because when I'm in game and then I didn't change the profile Just click on it and it tells me so I don't need to look at the keyboard Especially if I'm playing a game. I just do that and I, I know I like to be in profile for my CSGO profile uh, Other softwares, uh, you know, you have to look at it Same thing with the uh, the software for the mouse. I'm gonna just show quickly here uh, The Rocat the mouse that I'm using here the Kone pure optical and I have this as well here is somewhere in the control, I've got the uh, the voice control, sound feedback, DPI change is the same thing. I'm going to do it. For example, you're in game and play CSGO and it's it, it's too slow and you want to increase it. Uh, you, I'm going to do it here. 1000 DPI, 800 DPI, 600 DPI. All right, 600. That's my DPI. That's what I like. So that's what it is. So you do that. Uh, one other thing I want to show you here as well is on the button assignment. Uh, if I look at my easy shift on the mouse that I have, I always do easy shift on cone military here. But usually what I do is that I do the easy shift on uh, on all devices. Uh, Roka talk and there we go. Easy shift all devices. So when you do that, when I'm going to do the easy shift on my mouse, it's going to do the easy shift on the keyboard as well. Uh, but uh, since I don't really use the keyboard now, uh, I gave it. My wife wanted this, so I gave it to my wife. So uh, I don't do it now. But uh, usually this is what you do. So when you do the easy shift on the mouse, it works with the keyboard and vice versa. That's great. All right. So I uh, cancel that. Uh, boom. All right. So here it is. That's uh, what it is more or less. The sound feedback, the volume, and all that good stuff. Uh, I'm gonna go jump key assignment. I'm gonna do it after. I'm gonna go illumination. Illumination is what it is. Uh, you can choose the pre-choose zones already. I'm in custom mode. If you do preset mode, I would change my, what I've got right now. I'm going to stay into my custom mode. But if you see all, it, it, it highlights everything, then you can choose that and then apply a color or whatever you want. Uh, WASD and all that. So you've got this. You can change the zones. I'm going to go in, uh, on the keyboard and just click on some. I'm going to go on the control thing. And you can do uh, just like Windows. You can do shift key. And then I'm going to do shift right now and to this key here, the uh, alt key. And then you see it's going to take... Oh, it didn't work. The control does work. Control, I'm going to choose this one, choose this one, choose that one. I'm going to go. It's black here. If the color is black, means that it doesn't light up. I'm going to choose a color. I'm going to put that uh, purple. And then I've got in my settings, I've got auto apply. And then here, right here, bottom right here, auto apply. So it applies automatically the setting. So now the keys here on the bottom are, uh, are purple. I'm going to ch go change that. And I'm going to put here black means no color and then it's gonna auto apply and then the color is going to uh, go away all right so now I'm not lighting it up so this is what it is you can put a, an action on it uh, an effects if you want to do that 
breathing and all that good stuff this is where you would do that and adjust the speed of the effect I don't use that but this is where it is all right so this is for illumination as you can see in my for my this is my profile for CSGO the illumination uh, goes by obviously by profile so depending on the profile can change illumination right so but it's by profile and uh, here in that profile that I have I've got the WOSD in red uh, this is here the shift is the to, to, to walk the control is to crouch this is to jump so I got it in red the action buttons and then the other stuff is for what I need to do so let's go now into the key assignment crows and I'm gonna just assign a, a key here do you just choose the thing here uh, exact is on the primary function the second function easy shift is B42 I've created it uh, I'm gonna remove it I'm gonna remove that and then I'm gonna show you how to do it and I'm gonna just uh, see the macro here b42 is when you want in csgo you want to buy a weapon you click on b and then choose forward and two that's my ak-47 but you when you have the macro here you take it and then you just drag it on top and dragging it on top of another macro is the same thing now it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna flash now it's now it's in in, in the memory of the keyboard all right uh now i'm going to show you how to do a macro it's very easy i'm going to do here add a new macro well, you don't you don't click on it you actually drag and drop it add a new macro okay well, how do you want to call it I'm gonna call it b42 new all right because there's a couple of time I do that uh, no delay no nothing or no don't record the delays between the keys start recording bracket is to call the menu and then it's uh, b42 enter escape and stop recording so when i'm going to be in game this is what it's going to do call the console b42 enter escape to get out of the console and it's going to go back into the, 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 the to play so i call it b42 new okay and if i go into my macros here i should see the last one should be b42 new which is right here and now you saw it flash it's here all right so b42 new is right here all right so this is more or less uh what it is and um let me just go see here all right so um so this is how you create a macro and then how you assign it all right now i'm just gonna delete it from the easy shift which is the easy shift m1 then it would be b42 well i'm gonna do it i'm gonna open word to prove that it's working uh going on a blank document i'm gonna do the macro is a shift uh, m1 and it does uh, the bracket to call the menu in csgo b42 get the ak-47 i usually play as a terrorist and enter and escape there you so it's uh, that's what it does so usually in game you don't put it as, as a shift key but as a main key so you just do it on uh on m1 uh, so but uh, that's uh, what it is let me close that i'm not gonna save this so uh, this is how you create new macros this is how you assign them uh, I had some uh, buttons here with sensitivity. I've got two for in-game. So, and then I had the other one, uh, two M4A1S, for example, this is to buy a the gun. But uh, this is what it is. So you just assign the macros like that, all right? So that is how you do the ass assignment of the macros. You can create your macros. There are some built-in macros already, and that's what it is. Uh, one other thing you have, I'm just gonna show you for the uh, the volume. Uh, this is uh, built into the microphone. This is the volume low, volume high, and all of this. So I'm going to click on this. As you see here, um, master volume, mute master volume. Primary function is F1, the function. And then mute master volume. All right. And then the uh, next one here, the F2, is uh, is uh, here. Lower the volume. And then after that, so and so on. These are preset already with the, uh, with, the with the keyboard the way it comes in, right? So that's what it is. You can change that, assign your function as you want. You can create whatever you want and just dump them in there. You drag them in there. All right. Uh, the rule cat function, like I said, uh, easy shift. Uh, this is what it is. Usually when I do that here on this one here, that would be the uh, easy shift uh, for all devices. Or you can add easy shift and then it recognizes the device. I've got the device I've got, got the pure military, extended optical, the tie-on. Uh, but usually I put it on all devices. So when I click here, all my mice uh, light up because it knows that the easy shift has been uh, selected. All right. Uh, so that's what it is. And uh, you've got some uh, basic function. You've got also the multimedia as well. So the master volume up and down. So that's all the good stuff here. That's what it does. All right. Uh, so I'm going to just get out of there. 
All right. Okay, so I'm gonna go back here in the basic settings here. So uh, this is what it is. The last thing I want to show, and that's an issue. I should have started with that, but that's, I'm gonna end with that. Uh, there's a big problem with the Swarm software where you lose your profiles. When you lose your profile, the issue that I found was, uh, here I have only four uh, uh, profiles. If you have more than five, what I said is that if I had five profiles and, and if one was identified, I think the culprit is identifying a profile as the desktop profile. But I had five profiles and I had one identified as, as a desktop profile. Uh, I, I, I removed one profile didn't need, didn't seem to make too much changes, but to me that's, that's been the winning combination. Four profiles, or less than five, and none of the profile. I had one of the profile by default that was desktop profile. By having that, it deleted all my, um, my uh, profiles. The profiles basically were not gone anyway. The software just wouldn't see them. But the profiles are in uh, the user, in, the, in the, your user uh, folder, and then there's one of them. If you go down there, I think that it creates one that is for uh, Rawcat and then all of them. But they were all in there. They were not deleted. The, the software swarm would not see them. As soon as we remove the desktop profile, the tagging of a profile as a desktop profile, which is a default profile, then I stop losing my profile. So my profile. So the thing is, is that if you lose your profiles, you reboot your computer, your profiles are not there, and then you go, oh, I worked a lot on this. They're not uh, deleted. Just d remove the desktop profile, and me, I removed one of the uh, one of the uh, of the gaming profiles, and and having four, and none of them identified as a desktop profile. Usually, it puts a DP letter here, a weird choice of letters, but still, <laughs> it put the DP there as default profile. Don't get me wrong, default profile or desktop profile, and by untagging this, I stopped losing my profile. So this was a solution for me. All right, so uh, profile manager, you can do some other stuff. This is what they're called. You can switch them on this thing here. Uh, here also is the macro manager where you can uh, just see your macros. You can add them, edit your macro, and do all that good stuff. All right, so uh, this is where you do that. Uh, or you can do that as I did on the fly. All right, so this is a place where you can do that. So this is basically uh, the quick tutorial you've seen. It's, it's pretty quick, but it's still 20 minutes. Uh, but I, I went on the fly, tried to sh show as much as I could, and uh, hopefully it uh, it's gonna help it's the few users that came to me saying that they needed a little tutorial. I hope it would help you. And uh, if you need to uh, something more specific, you please uh, send some comments in there. I will look in them. If you need some more something specific, I'll be able to help you as well. Uh, I'm I'm in there to I'm in here to help. That's why I do my channel. Uh, not for the clicks, uh, not for the money, because I certainly cannot live with uh, 100 some users off of that. I do it because I like what I do and I like helping people. So if you like the video, let me know by uh, liking the video. If you disliked the content, uh, let me know as well by disliking it. I will know what it is. And also, if you haven't had a chance to do so, uh, please subscribe to my channel. It's also a sign of uh, if what I'm doing is... Uh, is uh, recognized and is appreciated by people. All right. Thanks for watching this video. Hope I helped someone and I'll see you next time. Ciao.